The crane, the wolf, the bear and the boar No longer dwell upon these shores You say the goddess and god have gone But I tell you they live on For in the cities and hills And in circles of stone the voices of the old ways, the spirit of Albion is calling you home. Guys, welcome to another edition of the British Pantheon. Today we are going to do God Notice. Now, God Notice is a short one. There's, there is a lot of reference to him. He is important. That's all the gods. But he didn't have a big story in the British Pantheon. Um, hence, I don't really know much about him, but I would do the best I can. Anyhow, here is God Notice's titles, alternative names, and spellings, and symbols. Enjoy. And welcome back. Um, we are going to continue on God Notice. Now, God Notice, the story I read on him and did researches, that he was a big warrior god. He fought in a lot of wars. He's an elder god. And he was once known as God of Gods. Hence, he still is, but he's kind of retired. Um, he would be... He's really old. In battle, when he was fighting in battle, he actually had his hand cut off. Um, which then he went to a god that we will later learn about. Um, god Wayland. And had Wayland make him a magical hand that he can use. Hence his name, the Silver Handed. Um, so... Let's see what he was god of. He was god of the sea. Healing. Dreaming. Empowerment. Hunting. Dogs. Sleep. God of do God of Gods. His sacred animal was dog. His sacred cuddle was silver. His element was water. His Sabbath is Beltane. His associated planet was Mars. Now, God uh, Notice. Notice is a popular god in the British Pantheon. Um, he is known as different names throughout the Celtic Pantheon. As we have on the Celtic Pantheon, is a blend of a different, you know, the way close together, all different continents. But he was, um, 
god of the sea in a lot of traditions. He is shown as a sea god. But he was very powerful, hence, back in his heyday, in that he was a leader of gods. He led gods to battle. Um, Batman and still today, he is god of gods, meaning he is the supreme god in the British pantheon. Kind of like Zeus is in the Greek, and how Wa is in the Egyptian. He is, and how Odin is in, in the Nork. He is a god of gods. Now, hence being an elder god, too. Now, his sacred animal being dogs, he uh, would always have dogs with him. He always led uh, the dogs beside him to fight in battle. Uh, a lot of warriors did back in that day. His sacred cuddle being silver, hence his hand um, being made of silver. His element is water. Which kind of surprised me with his symbols that we saw. The two triangles um, put together which look like the Jewish star. Uh, interesting fact for you. The Jewish star of David is actually an ancient fire symbol that the pagans used. Um, and his symbol of that pops up a lot. Which it's an ancient fire symbol but yet his element is water. And his Sabbath being Beltane and the associated planet being Mars, those are fire Sabbaths. Beltane is a fire Sabbath. And Mars is known as a warrior planet, which makes sense. A lot of gods, um, the warriors, the sacred planet is Mars. And that goes off a lot, not just the Greeks, the Romans, a lot of different pantheons kind of stay the same with the planets. Mars being a royal planet. Now, his representations were bonds, dogs, his hopes and incense was all human orbs, and silver. Now, he always fought in a bronze uh, uniform um, with his silver hand. So, hence, anyhow, his weapon, he's very known for the silver hand. He always looked bronze cuddled when he fought. So, he always has the bronze before the silver. And, again, a representation of him would be a dog. So, you can use a dog statue on your auto if you want a representa representation of him. Um, since he has got so many orbs and they are all human orbs, there are so many human orbs out there. And silver would be a hard one to find for a gemstone. Um, it's exp I mean, easy to find, but expensive as all hell. <laughs> um, anyhow, his mother was goddess Inun, Mother of the Gods. His father was Bella, Sun God. His level or wife was Matra, which is a goddess Morgan in her maiden form. He had no divine children. Now, the Muddle Goddess is going to pop up a lot, Enyun. She was also known as, mainly known as Diana, or Dinyun. Um, in the Celtic pantheon, she's very popular, goes by many different names. His father being Bella. Um, that would make him the great grandfather of a lot of the gods. Um, but Bella, again actually goes into a different Celtic pantheon, and we covered him before in the other ones, so you can go back and find him. Um, Martra, which is the maiden form of a goddess Morgan, the Fates, uh, she is a very royal and uh, bloodthirsty uh, part of Morgan, so again, that matches him. But it's very interesting that his level was Mo Martra. 
which Mantra is a very powerful goddess, one of the most powerful in the Celtic pantheon. Anyhow, this has been it for God Nolan, and next we will be doing the God of the Underworld in the British pantheon. Stay tuned, stay tuned for that. That's going to be an interesting one. Lots of information on him. Anyhow, this has been Rainbow Pagan, and I hope you have a blessed day. Bye.